Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you what I've learned about debossing leather. Here are a few examples of some coasters that I've made using this process that I'm going to show you today. It's very simple to do and you can really get some good results out of it. To show this process, we're going to start from the beginning and I'm going to show you the first few ways I tried to make these and uh, let's just say the results weren't great, but I'm using a Snapmaker 2.0 3D printer to make my blanks or my templates. Um, and then I use Tandy leather coasters, pre-cut coasters uh, for the, the leather itself. So let's start with my very first test. I took a couple of flat boards, MDF. I have my coaster, I have my template. And the idea I thought was just try to get it as centered as I could make sure it's flat, and then just using simple blue painter's tape to, to keep it in place while I clamped it. Um, obviously, it's not the most elegant method, but um, it did work, um, albeit not great, but it did work. So the idea is to spread the load across the entire template to theoretically get a nice, deep debossing of the leather. And then just using simple clamps from Harbor Freight, try to keep everything centered and, and uh, put the clamp as deep as I can to hit the center of the template itself. And then you let it sit for five, 10 minutes, something like that, and, and uh, voila. So since the results weren't great with that first method, I decided to try something a little more sturdy. So again, Harbor Freight, bought a little vise, um, use the same generic MDF sandwich, so to speak, tighten it down, and then I use one of those clamps to tighten the top part because the vice is, you know, just too small, couldn't get consistent pressure across the entire blank. Um, so results were better, but still not what I was really hoping for. So here's the result from those first two methods. You can see around the edge, it just didn't get any deep line on that that circle and the and the text. And then in other areas where there was a lot of pressure, it got nice and deep. That's what you want. So after not getting the results I wanted from those first two methods, I decided to go big. And I went back to Harbor Freight and got a six-ton press, which I knew I'd be able to get consistent pressure in the center of the template into the leather. So I started with a eighth inch piece of steel that I cut into two pieces so that way I could spread the load very evenly from that centered dot all the way to the edges of the coaster template itself. Another thing to know is you want to get your leather wet. It doesn't have to be sopping wet but just a little bit damp uh, to make a good deboss. I also took the opportunity to make a, a jig so that way I could have a nice consistent even um, repeatable method and didn't have to use any tape at all because the tape does hurt the leather on the back side of these blanks. So as you see, it's a nice round jig. I pop on this little clip to keep everything nice and nice and solid. And I can throw in my template. And then I have a nice thick 100% fill blank to spread that pressure across the entire template itself. And then when you're ready, you stick it in the press, put a nice little X in the middle there to make it super simple. Throw on my second piece of steel to get that nice spread of force across the entire template, and then simply jack. And it's essentially a car jack that you're just manually jacking until you uh, get the pressure that you want. So after you've let it sit for about five minutes, you can take the pressure off. Um, and then obviously I remove it from my jig and this shows you how simple it is to do this. Just take the plug out. 
and then pop the outer ring off. And uh, you'll see that it is, it's it's in there pretty good. So you gotta, you gotta pull it out. And then there's the finished product. Nice and consistent, everything's nice and deep. And uh, it's ready for the, the next steps. And here are those examples again of um, semi-finished products with staining and edge burnishing and all the, the fun stuff that goes along with leather. So um, I am by no means an expert on 3D printing or leather in any way, but if you learn something or have feedback for me, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Thank you very much. Oh, and don't forget, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.